In this video, we're going to have a look at integration of functions of linear functions. But before we do that, we're going to have a look at a few standard integrals that you need to know before we can attempt this. So first of all, the integral of e to the x dx. Well, when we differentiate e to the x, we get e to the x. So since integration is the reverse of differentiation, if we integrate e to the x dx, we get just the same thing, e to the x plus a constant. When we integrate, there's always plus a constant. Another one, the integral of x to the power of minus 1 dx. Well, you could be tempted to add 1 to the power to get x to the 0, then divide by the new power plus c, as you would with standard integration from your first year maths. However, not the case here, because we can't divide by 0 in maths. It, this here, x to the power of 0 over 0, is undefined because it's got to divide by 0. So this x to the minus 1 here is the one exception to the normal polynomial integration rules. When we integrate x to the minus 1, it doesn't get x to the 0 over 0. It gets ln, natural log, of the modulus of x plus c. And that's just a fact you've got to learn. So now having a look at some trigonometric integration, well, let's look at the trig differentiation. Sine goes to cos, goes to minus sine, goes to minus cos, back to sine again. Well, when we're integrating, it's exactly the same mechanism, but with the arrows pointing the opposite ways. So we see here that sine integrates to minus cos, which integrates to minus sine, integrates to cos, integrates back to sine. So they're the ingredients that we need before we can do some questions. So I'm just going to throw a few example questions at you here now and show you how to do them. So let's start with the integral of e to the 2x plus 4 dx. And at this point, I'll point out what I mean by a function of a linear function. So I've got a function here, e, and I'm putting inside that a linear function, 2x plus 4. Now, technically, e to the x, as we saw before, was a linear function. But this here, this 2x plus 4, it's a more complicated linear function. So we're going to have a look at how to integrate these. So step one, so we'll do a couple of notes. Step one, integrate the function as a whole. without considering the linear function. So integrate the function as a whole without considering the linear function. So what I mean by that, if we integrate e to the power of, and I'm going to put brackets around this, e to the power of something in brackets, we get e to the power of something in brackets. As we saw before, looking at this here, e to the x integrates e to the x. So e to the something in brackets, provided that thing's linear, stays the same. Plus c. Then step two. So we're not finished yet. So it's like the reverse of the chain rule, this. When we're differentiating, we're times by the differential of what's in the bracket, or the differential in this case of the power. Step two. We're going the reverse way. So we're going to divide by the differential. Of the bracket. And by bracket, I mean a linear function. So the linear function, I put brackets around it. So in this case, the linear function is 2x plus 4. So I'm going to divide by 2. So the answer is e to the 2x plus 4 over 2 plus c. So let's have a look at some more examples. Let's do, let's say, the integral of sine of 3x minus 5 dx. So integrating the function as a whole, the integral of sine of something is minus cos of something. Divide by the differential of the bracket over 3 plus c. Then let's just fill in the gap. 3x minus 5. Let's do another. 
let's do the integral of let's say 5x plus 1 to the power of minus 1 dx so the integral of something to the power of minus 1 is log of the modulus of that thing plus c and divide by the differential of the bracket over 5 so log of 5x plus 1 modulus over 5 plus c so just a final challenge question here what about the integral of sex squared of 8x take 3 dx so in order to do this one you're going to need the formula sheet that you get at the front of an exam paper or that you get as a separate booklet depending on what exam board you do so the integral of sex squared if you look at the differentiation section of your formula booklet you'll see that tan of something differentiates to sex squared of something it therefore shows that sex squared of something integrates to tan of that thing divide by the differential of the bracket over 8 8x minus 3 plus a constant for more videos like this go to a or subscribe to our youtube channel